We're saving lives here. I didn't want it to come to this jacket. <laughs> I'm about to set up my unit and get to work. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, she and that's not the news. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Don't play with it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I just want a rough neck nigga on the tongue, bitch. You just want to send me on the We are about to start dental materials. We have a quiz. I got 100 on the quiz yesterday, so that's great. Hopefully I'll get another 100 today. And yeah, and today we're actually gonna be released for group projects, so there's nothing really going on. Yesterday we did sealants on our student partners. My phone died, so I didn't get any footage, so I'm sorry. But yeah, today should be a good week. Yay. Yay. I think there's a piece Yeah, natural. You want to try and like that? I do. All we saw them do was panic. Say cheese. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to be removing sutures. We're saving lives here. Oh my god. Honestly, I think my hands are too shaky though. <laughs> By the oh, this one's super tight. Yeah, so let's try to really pull it. Yeah, this one is super tight. It was, it was not good. We've done that. We've done watching our handwriting. Um, wow, this is actually. <laughs> it's shaking. I know, because I'm like, it's so tight. I'm stabbing the gum. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Okay, grip that thing. Oh, there we go. Now it's locked. That was not good. But <laughs> Bring yourself. I didn't want it to come to this jacket. <laughs> it's me or you. So here we are. We are practicing our air polishing. So air polishing it uses um, this instrument, this tool basically, like this little gun, and it has like a powder and water that mix together. And what happens is you press the, the rheostat button, which activates the powder and the water, and it will penetrate your pockets, like your deep pockets, and it also um, will remove plaque and biofilm from the surfaces of your teeth as well. So this is a really good tool for people who have deep pockets, and it's a really good tool to use to remove plaque and biofilm even before you start scaling. So there's actually two different tips that you can use. One is for subgingival penetration and one is for super gingival. Um, I started with the subgingival. You can see it has that plastic tip so that you can insert that tip into um, the pockets, into the gingival sulcus. So here I am, I'm actually trying to switch over to the super gingival tip and obviously, I can't figure it out it is too difficult <laughs> like look how much i'm struggling y'all like and then look what happens i hand it over to jasmine and look what she does and then oh my god you have got to just listen to my reaction truly <laughs> wait put that, back on. put that back on put that right back on i'm gonna take it off the man i'm still a fan okay oh my god <laughs> Wait, it your mind. What did you do? Uh, Jasmine! Like, what did you do? Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Alright. That was embarrassing. So we've successfully, finally, switched over to the super gingival tip. It's almost like a metal tip. 
and the water and powder solution come out of it and you hold it three to five millimeters away from the tooth and you have it angled down towards the crown of the tooth you don't want to ever have it angled towards the gum line and it is good for removing that plaque and biofilm okay y'all so this is the process of making a bleaching tray well first let me pause the video pause so what we do is we actually start with an alginate impression once we take that alginate impression we create a dental cement we pour the cement into that impression we let it sit overnight and then that creates a tooth model we shave that model down to just the dentition and or just the teeth and we take this vinyl acetate which is used to create bleaching trays. We place it, we heat it up, we place it onto the tooth model, and then we vacuum seal it down so that we have created basically a bleaching tray, like an exact replica of your teeth. And so that's exactly what this process is. So the first step involved in creating a bleaching tray is taking your vinyl acetate, putting it into your vacuum former, and then you're gonna see me lift it up, and it's actually, getting closer to our heat lamp that is at the top I spin that around and what that's going to do is heat up the vinyl acetate and make it more malleable for us so that whenever it is to the correct consistency what we'll do is we'll pull it down and then we'll immediately vacuum seal that vinyl acetate onto the tooth model that I just put onto my vacuum former so the next part you just do a little dance while you're waiting for your vinyl acetate to become more malleable it's basically a waiting game um, just make sure you're watching and paying attention because you don't want your your vinyl acetate to be too droopy and you also don't want it to be stiff as well so you got to have that nice perfect consistency and we actually call it like a nice b cup you don't want like a nice tiny a cup it'll be too stiff and you don't want a whole you know a d you know you don't want double d's because it's just not going to work properly so once you have that perfect little b cup that perfect consistency on your vinyl acetate you're going to take it down and you're going to smash it onto your tooth model just like that and then you're immediately going to flip the switch to do the vacuum button and the vacuum is going to suction that vinyl acetate onto that tooth model and it'll also cool it down as well because it's also really hot okay so once we've vacuumed our vinyl acetate onto our tooth model we want to go ahead and remove it from the vacuum former it's going to look like this we use forceps because it could still be hot and you want to be careful we're going to remove that from the vacuum former and then the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to trim it up so that it can be placed into the mouth so in order to set up for trimming my bleaching tray i go ahead and turn on my thermo knife put it on setting six let that heat up and then while that's heating up i actually trace my gum line so that i know exactly where i will be cutting with my thermo knife and then once i get a nice gum line on my entire impression i'm going to show you right here nice and pretty i just go ahead and start with my thermo knife and i'm just going to go and follow the lines that i basically already made super easy Oh, this one's more stiff than the last material, right? This is more like sturdy. This is mandibular, right? All right, axillary. Uh, this is definitely not as good as the first one I did. It doesn't even cover all my teeth. Good morning. Happy Thursday. I have no idea what we're doing today, but I really don't. I have no idea, but we're about to start a quiz. Hopefully I can get 100. I need 100. Um, it's going to be a good day, so I will catch up with y'all a little later. Yes, okay. Just scoop it up bring it together and start blending it. The working time on this, it says 30 seconds. 
it won't take you that long. If you spend too long mixing it, it will start to set up. But you mix it until it's creamy and it's all blended together. You don't see one color over the other. And then you rake it up and then you can line inside that crown with it. Go. Today we are sharpening our cassettes. So, I've got a loop sharpener and my three cassettes. All right, now I want you to, because we're already on a thread, Barnhart is what I need to use for Barnhart has this long shank. That's the tea about the barn art, right? She got a long shank. Got... <laughs> no, I did not say it like that. That's the tea about I did not say it like that. The girl. You have a what? You're, a, you're having a game night? You should. Yeah, I'm scared. I have to I have to not get an eye or I'm gonna fail as a book. <laughs> Could you imagine? Yes. We'll, we'll be in it together. Like, I think it's just us three actually. <laughs> I had to cut some niggas out. They didn't mean me no good. I come from the ghetto, so my trunk is in my hood. She wouldn't wear no panties around me even if she could get